My name is Luis Tubins. I am the owner operator of the Pilsen Public Art Tours. Um, we are currently in the art studio of the National Museum of Mexican Art, where I worked for 10 years from 2001 to 2011. Uh, and this is where I get the bulk of my history when it comes to Mexican art. Um, quite honestly, I wasn't on the best path. Um, I had graduated high school, finally. I was working with a friend named Victor and we were both just doing odd jobs. We were working for uh, a man um, whose mm, name escapes me right now, Augustine, Augustine, but he was the director of the Gads Hill Center. And so through him, we started working at the Gads Hill Center, which is about a block away from the National Museum of Mexican Art. And we were doing janitorial work, uh, cleaning bathrooms, um, things like that. At that time, in 2001, uh, the National Museum of Mexican Art was expanding, but they needed help moving things around and all of that stuff. So they reached out to some of the local organizations like Gads Hill Center. So Gads Hill Center sent Victor and I here to the National Museum of Mexican Art um, to move things around. Then um, I got asked, uh, not Victor, <laughs> but I got asked uh, to come back as a gallery attendant. I was a gallery attendant for about a year, year and a half. And my job was literally to be with the art the whole time, hours, hours. I did other things too, but most of the time it was to be with the art for hours and hours and hours. After about a year and a half of working at the, uh, as a gallery attendant, um, I started going to college. Um, so at this point now I'm like 21, 20, 21, something like that. And um, I apply to work uh, in the education department. Uh, I have heard tour guides uh, through my hours of being in, in the galleries talk about the art. Um, I had hours of spending time with the art, which I think was even more important um, because you notice things after just staring at a piece of art for hours at a time. And I got the job. And I was, to my knowledge, the first Puerto Rican to work in the education department as a tour guide. And um, from the, for the next nine years, I was an educator. Uh, my job was to study Mexican art. There was an artist by the name of Jose Guerrero, uh, who, if I'm not mistaken, he also used to give tours to the Chicago Center. And um, he had a um, company called Pilsen Mural Tours. Uh, and he would pick people up here at the National Museum of Mexican Art to then tour them around. Uh, and I see him one day and um, I say, hey man, I need, I need some extra cash. At that time, nearing the end of his life. And so um, he had a lot of different physical ailments and he needed help. He needed help giving tours. Um, sometimes tours would go at the same time. Sometimes they would go in unforgiving weather and he would teach me. Uh, he would teach me about the murals, he would teach me um, about uh, the art, but much of the older art, um, the, the artwork that he's most experienced with, of course. Um, and so that's how I started. Now, at that time, I'm like 23, 24, right? So my friends now, my, the people that are in my generation are starting to do murals. So I start learning about the more contemporary murals through my friends. When the Chicago Center, when I started giving, when I when I was presented by the Chicago Center, I, I didn't know what, what's the, what, what is that? The, the center of Chicago? Like, you know, the thing is, I, I was thinking, okay, you guys talk about Chicago? Through conversation with um, uh, employees, members of the Chicago Center, as well as students uh, and faculty that I was giving tours to that were coming from different areas of the country, I started to really understand the impact that the Chicago Center has of like, because a lot of these people that were coming to Chicago, it was their first time. Uh, it was, and even, and even if it wasn't their first time, I was showing them something that they probably would not have seen uh, or experienced on their own or through other organizations. And I was showing them the Pilsen experience, which I believe is a very authentic experience. Um, you know, I'm working in this, even though I'm not born and raised in this neighborhood, I've been working here for over 20 years. I've been living in this neighborhood. My kid goes to school here. You know, I've invested time, energy, 
resources, pay taxes, all that stuff, right? Here in, um, in Pilsen. So I was able, I feel, to give them an, an authentic Pilsen experience. And this was just like the Pilsen one. You know, my understanding is Chicago Center takes them all over the city. Bronzeville, downtown, up north, uh, Paseo Boricua. Um, you know, so they were definitely, they being the students that the Chicago Center was interacting with, um, were getting an experience uh, of Chicago uh, that was very valuable. That was very valuable. And I was, um, and I just started to learn more and more about, uh, about the Chicago Center. The first person that I could remember meeting was Scott. Um, and Scott is like an encyclopedia. Uh, so I would be giving these tours and he would be telling me about things of Chicago that I now use in my tours. Uh, so, so, you know, I was, I was very grateful. I think that um, what I want them to come away with uh, is that murals are a form of art that is used to connect with the community to bring awareness um, to an issue, to beautify the neighborhood, and for the community to say that this is ours. Um, the role of the murals is what I want the students to walk away with. Also, if I may, um, that's just murals in general, Pilsen or not, I also want them to walk away with an understanding that Pilsen is uh, an extremely important community, not just for the Mexican community, but for Chicago, period. Um, that uh, Pilsen has been the site um, of a lot of actions, uh, a lot of social justice actions um, that have helped shape this city for the better.